Welcome to the Flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm in the studio with gorgeous flowers from 50flowers.com. Look at this. We're going to do a Bespo style compote design with fragrant garden roses and fabulous garden flowers. It's one of my favorite things to create. Let's get started. When you receive your flowers, they'll come carefully boxed so that they're protected. Then the responsibility is yours to open them out and get them fabulous. I started with the whimsical garden roses. It was an assortment, a variety of colors, all so fragrant and absolutely gorgeous. Now when they come in, if you'll take the time to remove the lower leaves, anything that's going to be below the waterline, give it a fresh cut. And then, before I put it into the flower food mix, I use Quick Dip. It's just a liquid. You pour it directly into a little cup, dip the flour in, and it makes it drink and hydrate a little faster. Then put it into the water with flower food already mixed in so that it'll be hydrated and fed at the same time. Using the Quick Dip and the flower food, your roses are going to be fabulous, as well as everything else. You can see these garden roses are opening out lush. They're ready to work with. Then I also got the Vintage Velvet Selection. This is just so on trend. It makes you think about going out to the garden and gathering the wildflowers. It's got that grayed, velvety texture that's so fabulous. They've got Dusty Miller, Tweedia, Scabiosa, Anemone, fabulous black centers, and they will enhance the roses so well, giving it that cottage look that we're all craving. Then lastly, the classic wedding collection of foliages. So many different colors, shapes, types, but all green. But you can see dark green, lighter green, shiny green will work perfectly with the assortment. For mechanics, I'm going to use an aluminum wire armature. So it'll be decorative as well as useful. To begin, I just take my aluminum wire, wrap it around a round tube. I'm using PVC pipe. You could use a broom handle, anything round, creating a coil. Then secure that to your container. I'm just going to hook it onto the handle. You can see I've wrapped it onto here. Bring it out, tuck it in, secure it to the opposite side. And then you'll have natural armature to support everything. Fill it with water and you're ready to add flowers. Fresh water with flower food already mixed in. Filling the vessel so there's ample water for all the flowers and foliages. Then going back and starting with the greens. Building a nest. Giving it a cut. Breaking it apart and weaving it into the armature. Coming out both sides, as well as the front and back. And the armature supports it perfectly, so everything just stays right in place. But it's relaxed, not stiff. A very natural best bow styling. Coming a bit through the center, finding a spot to weave it, and out towards the back. You want it to be fully dimensional, front, back, sides, and top, so that it looks full and luxurious. The Dusty Miller, with its grayed color and velvety texture, is a wonderful enhancement. It's got a woody stem. You can break it or use your knife either way. Then set that down in. So luxurious. It doesn't take too many stems, just two or three to fill in the center. The whimsical assortment of the garden roses is so fabulous. It's all the blush tones that we love. Each of them so fragrant. And as I place them in, I cut and then just weave them down into that nest of foliage, making sure it's into the water. Larger blooms, the ones that are a little lusher, more open, bring them low down to the base of the design. Mix your colors. It's a very graceful look. 
tucking it in. And then as you place them, make sure you bring some out to the sides and fill into the back so it looks full and luxurious all around. The vintage velvet accent blooms are the perfect addition now to give it that garden look. The Tweedia mixed with the blush roses brings out that Pantone color of the year. You get that serenity, rose quartz in this design. Makes it definitely on trend. Filling in. Then coming back with the softer Scabiosa. Let it be casual, almost like it's wild and carefree. Kind of wild, out of the design. Coming up through the center. The anemones with their black centers. Oh, so velvety and luxurious. Tucking them down in. And going into the armature, making sure they reach to the bottom of the vessel so that they can drink well. The gorgeous flowers from 50flowers.com are amazing. Isn't this perfect for a shower or a wedding, a luncheon? So many different uses. And the abundance. Once you make an arrangement, you can make several more. There's so many flowers. And then you'll still have leftovers. And that's where you can use them to create little bouquets, maybe to set down the table. Even just putting a cluster of the Dusty Miller in a vase, maybe a single rose cut and placed in, and then set these down the table so everyone can enjoy the fragrance and the beauty. As you can see, there's so many different ways to use these and have it turn out beautiful. Now, as you're working with this, if you have questions, you can reach us through the website, flowerschool.com, or pick up the telephone and give me a call, 503-223-8089. I'm happy to answer any questions and help you do your own beautiful work. And then, of course, I love to see what you create. Take a picture and you can send it to my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Or better yet, hashtag it. Post it on social media with flo hashtag Floral Design Institute, hashtag do something you love, and let us all see. It's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.